What's up, what's up, YouTube family? How you doing? This is Apple RS Beta 4K Tech. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so we talking about the iPhone 13 Pro Max right here. This is the gold version, and I want to give you my thoughts on one RS 16 Puppet Beta 4. <clears throat> on here and I'm gonna do a little bit permanent with this device right here let me leave this cuz it's not about this device so gonna be mostly about this and so, so this device is really awesome to have uh, the Dotin Pro mats is something that I am getting loose to I like the gold color on here but you can see that in like kind of gold but also white a twin cut once you like tone this side it become a little white but um i can see the gold in here and really nice and so in really nice go with this device so a public beta 4 on here being really good and some features that i have not expect and not see uh the battery life on here is excellent so you can see the battery life on here is uh 13 hours that time i tried about 23 minutes ago for the 100 and it been off for four hours so this is like the battery life is really good <laughs> excuse me so when we go into wallpapers <coughs> you get uh you missing some features that um if i show you on here one of the exact same program versus on here you are like thinking like oh i lie so on here it do not have people but when you go on here you go wallpaper and you go right here you get people right here versus no people right here and both of them is one of the exact same firmware so this is the developer beta 6 with the uh, versus the public beta 4 and I don't know why the public did not receive the icon right here I guess this is special for the developers and I guess they got separate the public beta 1 for the uh, regular one so just want to show you that little hint and miss oh another thing I, um, I noticed and when you go to uh, Seth it missing this right here and uh photos Jeff on here it's not on here for some reason I don't know why it's not on here and I hope for the next beta they will allow us to have it on here cause it's not even on here at all and I noticed that right here while I just playing around with it and I noticed uh photo Seth is not on the 13 Pro Max and this one does that same firmware I didn't, don't understand why it's not there. It should be there. So, I guess when you have people, it should be there with people. Okay. So, the thing I like about the iPhone 13 Pro Max is not only the fact that RS 16 is really good on this device, but I like to go into the lock screen. You can see the cuts of lock screen that I made. I took this picture with the uh, with this phone, with the 13, and I cut out losing the RS 16 uh, picture cut out. So it really kind of really great. Uh, and so, so this is one of my favorite one right here. So I gotta show you why I done. So what I did is I took the picture. These are the pictures right here. Let's say we want to grab this picture. Cut this out. And you can see the megabyte is high. Seven point. We got to save this. Cut and give you the high quality. That one I love. And then all the only idea is I just scrolled already down. And I found it right here. And what I did is I knocked this off. And I screenshot it. So when you screenshot, let that go. To go right here, move over here. And, when, and that's the best feature that 
all the assets you can ever do. So I go edit. I go right here. I go to the three dot. And I put it as wallpaper. So see that you want to add a little cutter in it. Make it fiery and stuff. So just make it a little more punching up. So what I got to do. I'm not going to mess with that font. I want this as black. And possible so what I only did is I went to settings and I just went to wallpaper and right here really nice really nice wallpaper and I just went to this and then I went to here and I found this one is more better than the one that I had before so uh, this one is much better cuz you can see the whole uh, picture and I just went and save it and now you're able to see why I had not. And this is a feature that I really like. You know how many people would love to take pictures of a flower? Then people would instantly sit that inside, cut it out, the flower, and make their own background theme. Some uh, fan might say, this almost look like an apple version right here. And I'm like, look how clean this look. Look how clean this look. And so, and you can see the sharpness is really great with this. In no tell uh, with subject, a uh, copy subject, and just to get the clean look with this is awesome. And I began to make my wallpaper so like that. This is how you make your custom wallpaper. If you want to make a custom wallpaper, this is how I made this wallpaper. Uh, I made a custom. Now you could design, put letters on here. You won't. To put your own name right there, that turned out to you. But that feature that I really like uh, with RS16, that one of my favorite features. Another feature that I do like when you go into here, let me go to another one. Let's go to my, my account right here. So say that I want to add, say, hi on here, but I not meant to say I. Hi, so I meant to edit this, and I want to put, okay, hello, hello, then I want to put hello, Lee, excuse me, oh, I meant to say, Hello, Sarasa. Right here. Or I meant to say, Hello, Melissa. And then you got one more. And then this time, what I have to do put say, Hello, Melissa. Excuse me, Lee and Sabasa. And put a dot, and then I gotta put one more person that add David and Tyrone. Right here, and then I want to add who else? Oh, ding, right here. And then you hit one more, and you don't do that no more. So once you do that, then you can go straight to your history and see all your history right there. This is the feature I really like the most because you don't see that on Android. Like, you can literally see your history. I went by hi, hello, hello, Lee, hello, Sawasa. Hello, uh, Melissa. Hello, Melissa, Lee, and Savasa, David, and Tavo, and Ding. And that feature that I really like, I really do like that feature. Right there, that one, the bad feature. Another feature I like is now when you go to the garbage, you can go to the jump right here, and you can see what you have right here. So uh, that is a feature. That I like right here. You got junk. Anything related to junk, you can put it right there. 
into junk. Now, for some reason, I have not received it on here, but you got undeleted mode right here. So this is new right here. Any I delete, it will be right here for 30 days. And I go right here to my messages. And I go right here. I don't get that same feature on here, but like you got transfer on here, you got on um, this, you get all the extra features on here that you don't get on here. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, and different from the Pro Max versus here, but you can see that some feature in the Pro Max is here that you don't get on here. And I didn't know, do they got something to do with your mail? And so, I guess if you go open mail, then you open your mail, and I don't see no no reason or point for this at all because when I open my mail, it don't show nothing like that. So you can see that it could not pop in. But that's a something that I noticed. Okay. Another thing I could say about this device is the fact that notifications come in really well, really great on the iPhone 13 Pro. YouTube. One that I like about YouTube on here, uh, the sound quality is really loud. So you go right here. Meet the listen. new Google Pixel 6a, the more affordable Google phone that adapts to you with intelligent photography. This video is sponsored by Mobile Clean, the easiest way to free up storage on your iPhone by the And you can hear how loud that is. That is super loud. That is super loud. That one that I like about um, this device is super loud and very clear and clear. Like when I say clear, it is super clear with this device. Um, let's talk about cameras. This camera right here uh, take on really amazing pictures. You got ProRes. I can't do ProRes in 4K at all, but I hope they could change that uh, to, in the near future right here. You got cinematic mode. You can see the camera right here. If you point the camera a little bit down, you can see cinematic mode right there on the camera. So uh, cinematic mode is good. You got 4K 60 in the front. Then you got the approaching um, and stuff. You got the uh, cutter. You got the uh, right hand. You got the center, wrist, contrast, uh, vitamin, warm. You got wrist warm. You got wrist cool. So I always stay for the Google Pixel because this is more the Google Pixel one. This is more like the One Plus. And this is like the uh, one, um, the Huawei. And this one is more like the Samsung. And so, so everything they say is true. This is more like the Google, I like the Google version and stuff. And they really treat out the Google version on here. So it really came out really well. So, and so, but one thing I like about this is you can hear this. So if you go into settings, you can go right here. <clears throat> And I like to go to a notification. When I go to my notification, I like to keep this on count. I don't like get uh, on stack or less. Cause when you put it on list, it look ugly. When you got it on count, uh, right here, this will show you notification is four right here, so you get a notification right here at four. And that feature that I really like that I know how to worry about putting it on count. And so, like I say, really great battery life. You see that the battery percentage is right here on 100%. Been on 100% for like least, uh, least two minutes, 14 minutes. So, yeah, I just want to show you a quick video and I will come back on the next video. And so, so please subscribe on my channel. I got to give you a full review on this device. And I will see y'all on the next video. Peace.